All right, going to do a real quick video on this website here, uh, the Weekend Vigilante. Uh, Sheila Zelinsky is the name of this woman. And, uh, you know, when you have a radio program, you're going to invite people on that uh, have similar beliefs and things and, and basically that, that are lining up. You know, obviously she isn't going to have uh, people that would be contrary to her belief system. Uh, I'm not saying she agrees with everybody on this list here that we're going to look at 100% of the time. But the point is, a radio host will have people on that suits their agenda, that fit in with their agenda here. And um, some rather interesting names of people that are on this program here. found this to be interesting. Let's look at a couple of these. Steve Quayle. He's into a lot of the some of the weird uh, UFO giants being hidden by the government thing. He, he's a post river. Chuck Baldwin, Dr. Chuck Baldwin. There have been on Infowars quite a few times. Some of these people I don't know. And Chuck Baldwin, I believe, is also post trib. Um, but down through here, I'll just I'm going to just skim down through because there's a few very significant names on this uh, program. There she is, right there. Uh, She's on uh, Joyce Riley's Power Hour. Joyce Riley is a woman that uh, is in the Babylon USA movie, upcoming movie with uh, Steven Anderson. So, having a hard time releasing that thing, which I think is kind of funny. Um, Fred Springmeyer, major questions about that guy. He's connected to Roland Rasmussen. Roland Rasmussen uh, is connected to Anderson, Steven Anderson, uh, to Kent Hovind, to Johnny Todd. Um, interesting. Mike Hoggard. Uh, Mike Hoggard's got some major, major issues. Um, I came out against him. One of He had a forum or something like this or a website or whatever else. And the moderator of that website was trying to correct him and things. And he was too prideful to, to be corrected. And uh, he came out with this big thing. Mike Hoggard came out with this big thing attacking eternal security, saying that they're passages of scripture that prove that you don't have eternal security and um, I came out with a video exposing that you can see it on my channel and Mike Hoggard contacted me oh you know we need to talk about this and stuff I respect your ministry so I emailed him back you know and never heard from him again so uh, very prideful man uh, refuses to be dispensational so stay away from Mike Hoggard's stuff he's you know again all, all the secrets of Masonic secrets and all this, it's just like he teaches Christian occultism, is what the guy does. All these secrets that have come to him, you know, but doesn't know enough to understand how to rightly divide the word of truth. This Russ Dizdar guy, he's got some real major issues, deliverance type of guy. Again, Steve Quill, you're going to see a lot of these people are on over and over and over again. Springmeyer again. Uh, Reuben Israel, this guy here. There's some major issues with this guy as a street preacher. He, and it's even about the thing of the BBC documentary about America's hate preachers, starring him and Steven Anderson. Total hit piece to make Bible believing Christians look like idiots. But uh, just going down through here, a lot of uh, charismatics on this thing. Um, again, the two of those. There's this guy here, this Doug Perry guy. He's a real wing nut as well. I exposed him in my post-trip thieves uh, study. He had a whole thing where he was calling the Bride of Christ a fat, disgusting harlot of a bride or something like this. And I did that way back 2009. I exposed this guy. He's nuts. He was talking about spirals in the Bible and the red dragon and all this other stuff. Saw the red dragon. And, you know, I guess it was speaking to him and things. Yeah, he's nuts. Um... Down through here, Springmeyer, Steve Quayle again. You know, some of these I'm not even sure who they are. You might have, um, you know, understand who they are. Chris Pinto, I have some major questions about that guy. Um, I'm for some of what he does, but there's, I don't know. I have some questions about Chris Pinto. I'm not saying he's lost. I mean, he's only been on there, you know, one time that I was able to see in this thing going down through there. But uh, I'd be real careful being on the 
program like this. She's got a lot of really messed up people, including this guy, Pastor Rodney Howard Brown. He's a charismaniac faith healer, uh, total wing nut. And um, he, he and Kenneth Copeland were actually telling each other jokes in tongues at some big charismatic uh, healing service. I have it on video, uh, one of my old VHS tapes. Uh, continuing down through here, and some of you probably know who these people are. I don't know all these names. Tom Horn, there's some issues there with that guy. Again, I'm not going to get into a big thing on that right now. Uh, and you can see Hoggers on again and again and again. Um, Dane, Dr. James Manning. James David Manning. This guy right here. Uh, just a total wingnut. I mean, a guy, he used to dress up in Catholic, like, cardinal outfits. And um, he said that Jesus is going to come back and rule and reign from Harlem, New York. And uh, that uh, he had a talk. He was in prison for a little while. A lot of these guys were in and out of prison. It's kind of interesting. I think there's some mind control stuff there. But he had a, he got out of prison and he talked with an angel that was playing checkers in the park with somebody else. And the angel's name was King Totally Good Joseph. I'm not joking. Again, I did a study refuting that guy. And one of his little best buddies came out all offended and everything else, which we'll be talking about him here in a minute. But there you have Stephen Anderson. Stephen Anderson. Again, these people, it's like they're all, there's these connections with this crew. It's very, very weird. I just find it very ironic. You know, this guy's kind of an oddball, too. I've heard him say some stuff. Tried to listen to some of his things, and it was like, yeah, okay, this guy just sounds like an occultist to me. Um, there's some real weird connections with some of these people. Uh, let's see here. Michael Hoggard. How about Dr. Kent Hoagd? Hmm. Sheila, and she's on the Paul Bigley show. <laughs> yeah, Paul Bigley, another charismaniac. A weirdo. Rob Skiba, he's the guy that came up, he's a post-tribber, and came up with a lot of the uh, flat earth stuff, if I'm not mistaken. Daniel Estelin, I don't remember. Name sounds familiar, but I can't think right now. I mean, there's probably, some of you are probably going, yeah, why didn't you say something about that? I don't know all these people, but, you know, point is, Stephen Anderson again, so it wasn't just, well, he was on her, her, her radio show, and she didn't really... Um, you know, he didn't really know what he was getting into. It's, I mean, she's charismatics and all kinds of weird stuff like this. Why would you even want to be on her show like this? Now, James Manning, again, you know, and he was basically saying black supremacy, too. The, the black man is the greatest mind and all this other stuff. The nut. Gerald Salenti, guy that calls himself a citizen of the world, he's on Alex Jones's program quite frequently. As a trends forecaster from New York. Major issues there. Fritz Springmeyer. Infowars Dan Bedondi. So there you go. Somebody from Infowars. Uh, just going to show you a couple more names here. Some interesting people. Ron Paul. Dr. Ron Paul. So she's not just getting little small people on here. On her program. Program. You understand? Paul Begley. The lying false prophet that he is, you know, Ron Paul again. So, I thought this was funny. Former former Special Forces Apostle Emmett Overton. <laughs> a lot of the special ops guys they get into psychological warfare and stuff like that. And I don't, you know, somebody comes out of that and now now he's an apostle. Uh, that's ridiculous. Revelation chapter two, I think it is. It says about how thou hast tried them, which say they are apostles and are and as and are not, and has found them liars. So, you can't be an apostle today. Not going to happen. Steve Quayle again. Uh, there's some real. Oh, there's a Pastor Wiley Drake and Rudy Davis update on Dr. Ken Hoven. This guy here is is also. I don't trust that guy one bit. He's made a bunch of videos, you know, against me and things. Came out, you know, attacked my wife because, you know, we exposed Kent Hovind. Check this out. Thought this was very telling. Stephen Anderson, 
two days after Torben Sondergaard. This wingnut, charismatic, you know, casting devils out of people. She had him on for two days in a row. He's not casting devils out. He's he's imparting. Not exorcising. He's imparting. Go down through here a little bit more. Patrick Meekin. This guy's got some major issues as well. I have his book, The Nightmare in Holmes County thing. Uh, I bought it on the recommendation of a woman which later turned out, out to be what I believe to be a witch. But, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, there are so many weird people that get into my channel and things like that. But, uh, yeah, there's major stuff there. I don't know if I'll do a review of him, his stuff or not, but he's a charismatic. Ken Hovind, again, my Coggard. Ken Hovind, again. Rudy Davis, major issues with that guy. Good personal friends of James Manning. No Steven Anderson. Good friend of Kent Hovind. I mean, it's just David Icke. That guy's a total, total, complete Satanist. I mean, you know, type in his name in a Google search and look at the books that come up. I mean, he is a complete Satanist. He was on the BBC years ago and, and they asked him, Do you believe that you are Jesus? And he was like, Yes. Yeah. But all these people, it's like they all have these connections. They all kind of come back in and they, you know, Gerald Salente again, Catherine Albrecht, I forget, saw something about her at one time, but Anderson, again, so that's what, three times, three, four times that he's been on this thing. He's a regularly, you know, coming on the thing. So. I think that's about it. I mean, you can just keep on going down here, but you know, my whole point is, uh, I'm just I'm seeing this thing, and I'm going, okay, is this just coincidental? I mean, I don't do radio programs. I'm, you know, there's one coming up I might do. I'm still considering it, still praying about it, but uh, you know, I need to know the person very, very well, and it's just like. I mean, if I was contacted by this woman, I'd be like, okay, I need to check into who you are and whatever else. I'm not going to appear on her program when I find out who all she's interviewing here. Why? Because I don't want to be associated with that, that stuff. And if I tell people, hey, I'm going to tell you the truth of the, of the Bible, the Word of God, and then, hey, check me out on such and such radio program, they're going to listen to me on that radio program and be tempted to listen to other stuff. And they get them messed up. And nearly everybody on this list is mess you up and I say nearly everybody because some people I don't know you know so I just find it very interesting I, I keep seeing these connections where Hoggard ties into Ken Hovind and Ken Hovind ties into Steven Anderson and Steven Anderson ties back over to here James Manning ties into Rudy Davis and into Ken Hovind and, and it just Fritz Springmeyer ties into here and this guy ties into Aaron Rasmussen ties it's just like that it's weird, all right. So I don't know what to make of it. It's just I'm like, seems awfully strange to me that Anderson, Stephen Anderson, would be on the same program as Charismatics, and Mike Hoggard also. And these guys are supposed to be independent fundamental Baptists, and yet they're appearing on a radio program that has just total wingnut Charismatics like Torben Sundergaard. Very strange. 